If you don't already know what you're doing, I'm not going to teach you. <laughs> Show me what you can do. Hmm? Oh, pardon? Are you going to come up here and show me what you can do? No? You sure? Okay, then stop interrupting the show. I like it when you do that. That's very nice. Thank you. See, that's how you take it. I don't do that. At first. It's a process, you know. I know. You whip us in the shape. Exactly. But that's eventually. I only whip people I love. That's the way it works. Okay, it starts with psychological. And you don't have to get physical unless you really have to get physical. But why should I? I'm a delicate lady. Yes, you are. Yes, I am. I've never done things like that before. But some men like a whipping. <laughs> How can you say that? You're going to scare people. I don't actually whip people. You know, I really don't. Okay, it's just, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to get into my personal. See, you're doing that all the time. You always drag me. And then I tell you all about my personal life and my sexual exploitation suit. It's my legs and my breasts. You make me talk about these things and I'm very embarrassed. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you glad you came? I'm sure you are. You just never know what's going to happen, do you? At Good Handies, you never can. We have a sex club area too, you know. It's called the Diamond Joke. You know, you can actually legally go up there and have sex. Yes, don't be shocked. You're allowed to. It's not against the law anymore. You can have sex in that area as long as you don't bring alcohol in there. Because you know what, sex and alcohol. Mm, I don't know. In my case, I have to be drunk to have sex, but that's not everybody. <laughs> Some people can have sex without drinking. I don't know why, but they can. My problem is I'm confused. I don't know what I want, what I like. I'm just like you, darling. We could get together and kind of explore and kind of, you know, get all muddly. We'll bring one of everything with us. And we'll see what happens, okay? Well, we can. I think we still have that inflatable pig here, don't we? <laughs> yeah, we do. We can do that. We can bring an F to M. We can bring an M to F. We can bring a bisexual. We can bring a transsexual bisexual with a limp. <laughs> we can bring... Leave it to me, honey. I'll, I'll take care of it, okay? I'll have this you menu. <laughs> there is a big um, room up there. It's, it's, it fits five. Not unlike myself. Yes. I, no, that's my face, not me. Guys. Well, it's true. My face seats five. As long as you make reservations and warn me first. We get giggles out of the group. They know what that means. See? Ooh. And then guys know what this means. See, and you're all pretending you don't. <laughs> and you're sitting there getting all uncomfortable. I can't believe she's doing that on stage in front of everybody. But you know what? At Good Handies, we can do that. We're allowed to do that because you know, you should not be ashamed of sex. Sexuality is a beautiful, beautiful thing and so is gender choices. They're all, it's wonderful, I love it. I think it's great. Victoria, unlock the doors. <laughs> okay. Lock the doors. <laughs> okay, I can just see it. One of these nights, the cops are going to come storming in. I'm going to strip them naked and tie them up, and we're going to have a wonderful time. All right, I'll leave like the cute ones. Best lady, male, female, we love it all. Okay, bring them on, honey. Bring them on. Okay, I shouldn't say that. There might be police officers here already. They're here for a good time tonight. They're going to think, oh my goodness, it's so scary. If there are any police officers, you get a discount. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to bring out Milo de Milo. Are you ready? Milo is all with such energy, and I, I just love having him here. So put your hands together for Milo de Milo.